Hey guys, I'm coming on here super fast. I'm just going to run through this real quick. Um, I have had yet another thing. I believe um, the rhetoric used seems to be what the Lord was talking about um, when I received a word. And so um, I'm going to actually let's just go to the word really quick. Sorry, I'm in the car with my kids. Um, Okay, so I got the words something sorry I got the words something dark is brewing and then two years ago I had had a vision of workers from FEMA okay I didn't see a FEMA camp but I knew they were from FEMA and they were cooking people inside a huge bubbling cauldron okay so they were just like sitting there like cackling and laughing so like it was so creepy. Um, I was really creeped out from this from this vision. Um, but it was like perfect scripture. But it was really creepy. Okay. So the Lord told me something dark is brewing. And those were the words. And I, he gave me like the feeling um, of like, I don't know, fear. Like, like, he, like I intentionally received like what um like what or no not fear the weight of what was brewing okay whatever dark something dark that was brewing I felt the weight of that right so um I happened by the DOJ's press conference and I just found it really interesting the rhetoric that he uses now this is the second time he uses it um I heard it the first time, and I was like, okay, I'm going to continue listening through. And then I heard it again, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to make a video. Because he made made a point to say it several times. And then the number that he mentions before this that I'm not going to have on the video, but it was 114, and I look it up, and it means to lay aside, to break faith with. So I find that very interesting as well. Um, but let, let's just listen to what the guy says real quick. Have, uh, and this is referring to the riots and, and the people in the riots. And, um, and of course, we all know that, you know, America is the melting pot. So we're the melting pot being brewed by these creepy witches. It's just so absurd that this is real life, guys. It really is. But, hey, um, I'm going to let you all listen to this and then I'm going to get off here, but I just wanted to say, you know, I've never had visions or words or any of these things just to come to fruition day after day after day uh, before, and I know we are all looking at tomorrow, okay? Everyone is, even if they don't look at dates. You're looking at tomorrow, okay? And tonight, whatever, and this is just, this is just too much for me to deny. Something's not about to happen, okay? Oh, quickly, let me just show you the wor- a word, okay? Ezekiel eleven seven. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, your slain whom you have laid in the midst of the city are the flesh, and the city is the pot, but I will bring you out of it, okay? And so we all know that we, as God's people, are going to be brought out. He's going to take us away. He's going to carry us away. He's going to rescue us. He's going to bring us out. It's going to be an exodus. We're going to be peacing out right and um, and I find it really interesting that this is I found a lot of all of these cauldron ones uh, all the scriptures with cauldron in it are all happen to be in the midst and you know Jesus comes in the midst of the week he comes in the midst of week so um, just just keep that in mind keep that in mind for you guys and um, Let's listen to what this guy has to say. A, a particular ideology other than anarchy. There are some groups that uh, want to bring about a civil war, the Boogaloo group, uh, uh, that has been on the margin of this as well, uh, trying to exacerbate the violence. Uh, so we are dealing with, as I say, a witch's brew of a lot of uh, different extremist organizations. Uh, maybe Chris... Uh, would have something to to add to that. All right, guys. So we are the melting pot. We're being brewed up, eaten. 
It's just absolutely terrible. It's an absolutely terrible way to, man, just, it's evil, okay? Like, once you really think about the, what, what that all means sim- symbolically, it's disgusting. It's just ab- abhorrent, okay? But um, the Lord's coming. Jesus is coming back. And uh, I don't know if you happen to come across this video. Nothing is coincidence. Um, the Lord directs everything. So pay attention. The Lord's calling you out, and He's doing it one last time before we leave. And I'm telling you guys, this last week, I've seen the Lord call and uh, um, upon so many people that I know of like are fully lost right now have called upon them like in the midst of them doing something like that they really can't turn back from and um and it's just really interesting the lord is like seriously clawing at people trying to drag them with him and no one wants to go it's it's so sad but pray for the unsaved guys and look up our redemption draws nigh bye